guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be bringing you guys along with me to go shopping um for something specific so i have a cake smash coming up and so i had to go um basically buy a few things that i needed for the cake smash if you want to come along with me just keep on watching Like a sponge hat? Yeah. Look, that's cute. Looks satin. Look, that looks better. That oh. backdrop right over there. Yeah? And I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I got today. So, the first thing that I grabbed was, due to this being a um, cake smash, I went ahead and got a roll of paper for the backdrop. It is actually 4 feet by 12 feet in the color white, as you can tell. So, that's going to be my main um, backdrop that I'm going to actually put through my uh, backdrop stand and then I'm gonna let it come down and tape it to the floor. The second thing that I got was these little pink tassels. Okay, so imagine this and then I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put these. The third thing that I grabbed were these balloons that have like a pink confetti inside them because I am going to be using them 
for uh, the photo shoot as well. I'm going to put one on each side. And since they have um, like this glitter in it, I thought it would be super cute. The fourth thing that I grabbed were this little diamond banner. It says that you can uh, personalize with a marker. So it looks like this. And then it looks like this. And so it kind of has a little like shine to it. I don't know if you can tell. So um, what I wanted to do with this is I wanted to actually put it through here. So what I want to do is I want to put a, uh, depending on the baby's name, or maybe I'm going to put, I don't know if I'm going to put the baby's name or if I'm going to put like their age on there or um, I'm not sure just yet. But um, I decided I'm going to get this because I'm going to maybe put a tassel and then a circle and then a tassel and then a circle so I can write it in. Or I'm going to do like one, two, and then one of these, and then one, two, and then one of these. Like kind of like that, depending on what I'm going to put on it. The next thing that I grabbed was this uh, metallic skirting. It's 29 inches by 14 feet. And it looks like this. And it actually opens up into like a little string. Um, I know people use it for like the doors whenever you have like a party like at the very top of the doors. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this as a backdrop. And then once, imagine this with the backdrop on it, right? And then on top of this, I'm going to put these. And then we'll, with these also, mixed in here, like hang it down like a little U across this. And then I will put the balloon on both ends of the baby. Then I also grab these little tissue pom-poms in two different pinks. So I'm going to put these on the floor as well just so it can kind of bring out the pink a little bit since the floor is very white. I also decided to buy this little birthday princess hat. I thought it was so cute. It's a little headband and it kind of just goes on the little baby the last thing that I grabbed was this confetti and so this I'm going to sprinkle it on the floor I do also have to go get a wood crate tomorrow which I didn't get to today because I had a few things that I did today I will also be adding the pictures into the clips as I'm taking them as well so mom has baby's outfit as well as the baby's cake that we will be using for the cake smash. The majority of time I do try to come to their home just because it helps with the baby being more calm. It helps out with them not freaking out about going into a different home and a different environment, you know? With that being said, what I decided to do, um, I wanted to show you a little bit of what I got. I'm going to be bringing you guys with me the day of this shoot. And I wanted to show you my setup. I wanted to show you kind of like a behind the scenes. I will see you guys the day of the shoot. Bye. Hey, what are you doing, Mama? Yes. She wants to talk. <laughs>